This is James Elder for IFL TV in association with Macri's Jim Marbao. With me I've got the Scottish contingent of the MGM firm. What's happening lads? We're all good. Mark Kier's just coming in off the back of his win. He picked up my second pro win, so we're all happy here. Indeed. Happy team. Indeed. As you said, second professional fight yet to lose a round in professional round boxing is Mark Kerr. Eight rounds, one eight rounds of professional boxing, back into the gym next week and start on to the next one. Indeed, That's indeed. How did you find it, Mark? I was happy with the fight. It was a good tough four rounds. Dominated the fight, I'd say won every round comfortably, but it was a tough learning fight for me. Mm -hmm. The other guy was there to fight and made it interesting. The fans loved it. That's what I'm happy about. What was the difference between fighting in Glasgow as to fighting in Porto Bonos? The difference is 90 degrees. That's probably the difference. It's good weather on our show, don't we? Glasgow, come on. You were Similar in Scotland, it's good. So you're you're travelling over. You're yeah. travelling over just. Everything but it's a great experience for myself to get to travel to the likes of Portland and go out and have a, a fight. I'm delighted to have this opportunity thanks to the MGM team. But just something new is a new experience for myself. Yeah, taking a chance bringing you lot over in this heat should definitely provide back to 60 to the MGM. Sam's a man. Nice, I'm Sam's a man. Gallons of it. I'm a serious burn risk. It's a complete sun <laughs> block. <laughs> if I can bring in Martin Murray, how did you say Oh, Martin Murray, Murray. No, aye. Oh, here no. we go again. It's not Martin Murray, is it now? He's the, the mint, but he's talking about people being minted. Oh, I've been getting to all of it. He's still sparring. He's just got minted. So, just so you know, that's the new expression. Martin Murray minting people. Tell me, tell me you're talking shit. Sorry, 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 sorry. That's mint. That's mint. It's mint. Mint to Mark, sorry. Mark, Mark works really well. Um, hurt his opponent several occasions. So there's lots that we can improve on. That's what we're looking for. Yes. Mark's boxing in an entertaining style, but we're, we're, we're drawing things from, we're drawing the positives. We're also coming out and saying we caught too many shots. We could have taken the guy out, and in due course, if we got that guy again, particularly if we got him over six, he would be taken out definitely. Mm -hmm. Mark knows that, and Mark comes out and he's hard on himself, and that just shows. He's going to progress, he's not happy, he's not going to tick over like any of the guys in the MGM camp. He's here to do something, here to make an impact and not just tread water. Well, I can just bring in former British Commonwealth and European champion Gary Jacobs. How, how did you assess his performance? I think it was terrific, you know, it was a four tough hard rounds, four rounds in the bank, as I said earlier on. He hasn't lost a round in professional boxing. It's exactly what Mark needs, because knocking people over in one or two fights, he learns nothing. Yes. That's a four round fight, it's went the distance, a really tough opponent. He can move on to six, eight, ten, twelve rounds, and then that will stand him in good stead. I mean, it really, is a, it really was a good fight. He hasn't lost a round, as I said, in professional boxing, so he can't ask for any more than that. We saw the launch, obviously, of the MGM Scotland, Sam Kinnock's first show under the MGM banner. You're now back for your second show in Edinburgh next weekend, is that One right? One week tomorrow, we've got a great bill, okay. eight bouts there, Stevie Simmons headlining, so we've got a fantastic show lined up for is Edinburgh. Brophy on the card? Brophy's on the card as well, he's in six round action, and he's okay. back out again. End of October, we've got a dinner club launching in Glasgow, and then in December, we've got another big show back in Edinburgh, okay. and that's, that'll be Brophy, a big challenge for him. In terms of Mark, his next out is October one on that business dinner club. It's fantastic because obviously you can see some new fighters coming, some new and old fighters joining the MGM from Scotland, the like of Michael Roberts. We've seen him get yep. involved as yep. well. So it's a good transition, isn't it? And a good a real group of strong head Scottish fighters coming yeah. through. Yeah, stable's up to 13 now, which in the relatively short term time we've been around, um, I think it's quite good. We don't want to take on too many, as I've, I've alluded to in previous interviews, but I think 13 is a healthy stable. When can we see Mark Kurt out in action next? I'm, What's back, the plan? I'm back out 29th October, back out in Glasgow, and as Sam says, a boxing dinner show. Okay. Uh, Crown Plaza Hotel, that's my next show, 29th October in Glasgow. Okay, well, listen, lads, I appreciate it. Said, top up on the sun tan while you're here, don't go too mad. <laughs> sun block, we need the sun. It's a sun block. It's a sun block. I saw four crates of iron brew at one of that. That's one of those. <laughs> <laughs> so I knew, you, I knew you lot was here. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thanks for having me. Thanks a lot. Cheers, man.